The centerline parameters in a lofted feature allow you to take a centerline sketch and modify the profile of a loft. In this video we'll be covering how to use that centerline to both create the lofted profiles as well as create the faucet that you see in front of you. So the first thing we'll do is create a new part and then draw up the centerline on the front plane. Now the center line is something that can be drawn up before or after you create your loft profiles. I actually like to create it before sometimes so that I can actually use the sketch itself to create the planes or the sketch planes for each loft profile. So we'll go ahead and grab the line tool, actually the center line tool, and draw up a line vertically and one out horizontally. Then we'll go ahead and give the vertical line a dimension of 17 inches. And then we'll go ahead and grab the line tool and start drawing in our center line here. So we'll go ahead and draw up a line and then press A for a tangent arc. Drop in a tangent arc and draw a line straight down from there. Then we're going to select the arc and the line and make them tangent. Then I'm going to go ahead and give the arc a radius. And we'll set this to five inches. And then lastly here we just need a length for the line on the opposite side there and we'll set that to two inches. Now I'm going to add in several points. We'll add in a point here and here and give them dimensions. This is going to be two inches from the origin. And this point will be seven inches from the origin. And then we can exit the sketch. From here, I'm going to go ahead and show the top plane. And then I'm going to go ahead and create several planes. For our first reference, we'll select the line and this point and click OK. And we'll do the same with the line and this point once again. And once again for the next point. And one for the last point here. We don't need one here because it's horizontal with the other point there, so it lies on plane 3. So as you can see, if you already know what your path is going to be for your loft, it can be really convenient to create the center line first and then create all your sketch planes based on that center line. So I'll go ahead and create a sketch on the top plane and we'll draw in a circle at the origin and then give it a dimension of three inches. Then I'll go ahead and create a sketch on plane one and we're just going to convert over the circle from our first plane. And then plane two, we're going to drop a 1.8 inch circle at that center point. And 
And then we'll create a sketch on plane 3 at this point with another circle with a 1 inch diameter. And then I'll go ahead and create one more sketch on this plane once again and draw it at this point. We could have actually drawn both of the circles in at the same time on that plane 3, but it becomes a little bit easier to select the profiles in the loft to have them in separate sketches. Otherwise, we'd have to bring up the selection manager and select the closed loops that way. Lastly, we want to create a sketch on the plane 4. Once again, a circle. And we'll give this a diameter of 1.5 inches. and exit the sketch. Now we can create our lofted feature and we'll just go ahead and select out all the profiles here and you'll notice that I'm selecting out all the same points on the circle since this comes back around this becomes that same quarter point on the circle. And we'll select out that center line. And because of the path of the profile, if we were to sketch, or sorry, if we were to select the lofted profiles out of the feature manager, for some reason SolidWorks actually twists these connectors. That's why we went through and selected out these individually at the same point on each sketch so that we have a nice uniform loft. From here we can go ahead and exit out of the loft and now we'll go ahead and create another sketch on this plane here and draw in a circle at the center point and give it a dimension of one inch. And we'll just create an extrusion of 0.2 inches. And lastly, we'll add in two more extrusions for the handle on the side of our faucet. So I'll go ahead and hide out all the planes we don't need anymore. And then we'll draw in a sketch on the front plane. And we're going to draw in a circle vertical to the origin. So we'll just go ahead and control select those two and add in that vertical relation. And then we want to space this off by two and a quarter inches and give it a diameter of two inches. Then we'll go back into the Features tab and choose the Extruded Boss Base option. This is going to be extruded out 4 inches, sorry, 3 inches. And then we'll create a plane for the handle. Do that by holding down Control and dragging out that top plane to create a new reference geometry. And we'll set this to 1 and 3 quarter inches. And then we'll create a sketch on this plane. And I'm just going to go normal to the plane to make it a little easier to see. And then draw in a circle vertical to the origin. And I'll give this a diameter of 0.35 inches and space it off from the side there by the same 0.35 inches. Lastly, we'll go into the extruded boss space once again. Set this to 4.5 inches and press OK. 
And there we have our completed faucet. And we can hide out the last two planes here. And if we want, we can go ahead and add an appearance to this. We come into the Appearances tab and choose Metal. And we'll choose the Chrome folder. And we'll just add in the brushed chrome option. So as you can see, the centerline parameters make it easy to create those sketch planes for the loft, as well as change the path that the loft follows.